Hey guys, what's up? Thanks for tuning in. Happy Tuesday. So yesterday I was throwing up people. My stomach felt like a balloon. I don't know what was going on. I got sick, got the bug or something. I think honestly it could have been food poisoning or I or just like overeating, honestly, because I had these like pastries. I had so many pastries this weekend from Yeah. They were like these specialty ones and somebody was like, you got to try these. You got to have these. And I went <coughs> overboard. And then with the period and then getting over the sickness last week and like, what the fuck? And all the sinus issues I've been having, like my body just like it started to. I don't know. I guess I got too comfortable, whatever life started to happen. I just started uh, thinking less and less about training as crazy and intense and I started to enjoy life a little bit more and that means I was eating what I wanted and doing what I wanted and like all that stuff and that was fun but now uh, it's like it feels like I'm almost like in recovery again or like I'm starting and I'm not starting from scratch definitely not because that's insane but I definitely feel like I need to get back on some sort of track because I want it because I want it for me I want to feel that healthy like total energy uh it's this balancing act you know that I'm constantly trying to figure out and I think I probably always will be it seems like it but I definitely know when I feel the best is when I am doing the the best for my for my body what's good for me and that includes what I put into it and you know as I'm getting older, no, I'm not old. I'm just like saying, I don't think I'll ever be old, by the way. But as I continue to age and days go by, I can't eat everything that I want to eat and still have the speed and the strength and the stamina and the breath, especially with the asthma that I have, which is still prevalent, which sucks. And for my sinuses, like the da whole dairy thing is really terrible. Like any kind of chocolate, and I'm such an addict. I'm I'm addicted to chocolate people. Like I'm not addicted to alcohol. I can have a great time. I can go out, but I definitely don't need it. And drugs and things, like I I don't need it. What I need though, what if like I'm addicted to chocolate? It's bad. And I don't think it's helping me clear like physically, like with all of it going on. So I need to chill out with that. I want to. I just want to feel that that pop like that alive like awake like full of energy just healthy feeling like I had it for maybe four months straight when I first got here and then slowly started to like you know ease up on it and my body felt looser which is good for training but I didn't feel as it's just like I said it's this weird balancing act anyway because I got sick yesterday I'm still feeling kind of gross in my stomach nauseous like up here you know what I mean like this sinus post nasal drip and all that but I'm pushing through I'm not giving up absolutely not setbacks always happen so I mean this whole vlog it, every single other day it's just it's up and down it, nothing is linear it's constant battles constant struggles and you always get out on the other side you know you always but there's always valleys and little dips here and there. And it's amazing that I get to, that I am putting this all out there for people to see and for myself to see later so I can hopefully inspire myself when times are tough. Hey, what's up, future Anna? If you ever watch this video, you remember saying this. Um, <laughs> but I'm not giving up. So today I went on a run around the lake because um, they were doing the testing she flew last week was like, you don't have to come. I hate doing that. Feels like when I am in training, like I want to, to be there. I want to be doing something. And like last week was just a shit show for me. So I don't feel confident about what I'm doing. <clears throat> so I'm like, great. He said I didn't have to come. Awesome. I go around a run around the lake. That was freaking hard. And it was getting cold. And like uh, maybe five minutes into the run, I'm like, I regret not wearing gloves. So tomorrow if I go for a run again, I'm definitely going to wear gloves. Like this is just how it felt when I first got here, which is exciting. But I remember how challenging it was. Um, so I did that. That was tough. It made me feel a little nauseous, but I pushed through. Came back, lifted weights. That was also really tough. And then chilled out. I 
chilled out, gave rest to my stomach. Went, I just finished the second training of the day, you know, the afternoon one. We didn't go too crazy. We did some, some drills and we did some of our forms and it was nothing too, too intense. But like after every single time I like put any energy into anything and like using my core, I just feel like a gag reflex. You know what I mean? I don't know what that, what that was about, but I just feel like, oh, nauseous. But I did it. Um, and I'm probably not going to eat too much for dinner. I still don't really have a big appetite. Uh, that's okay. I think I'm just going to have some more rice than anything and then go to the training tonight. What I need to do still is an ab workout, which is going to be so fun because that's where like all the strength, this little is, but I need to do it. I need to do that. I need to do some push-ups for myself, <clears throat> some tricep dips for myself. And some other stuff, like handstands and things. I want to get that in. I don't even care if I take a shower first and then I have to do it before I go to bed. I need to amp it up a little bit for myself to get my body back, feeling that strength and that that physical health. I want that back. Oh, my God. What a journey. I get back to my room and I just get so exhausted. I get so, like depleted but yeah we're on track I even wrote it on the calendar for today day number one back on track before I leave I have two and a, and a half months a little bit more a couple days to get it back get it together before I go to Thailand to train Muay Thai so like I'm gonna get as much as I can in here do as much as I can physically get strong again, even though I am, I mean, I know it's not going to take that long. And just like, you know, talking about those valleys, I just hit one and, uh, yeah, get ready for that, for that Muay Thai, which is going to be all stamina and speed and power, like totally different training, but I really think I need it. I want it. I, God damn it. Do I want it? I want, mm. and with adults. That makes a huge, huge difference. Do three months there. And, um, yeah. Not going to be filming that, though. I don't think. I don't have any plans to. Maybe I will. We'll see. This has been tough to film every day. Not necessarily the filming. More of, like, the uploading. Because of the VPN and everything. Um, and some days it has felt like a burden. Especially days I don't feel great. And, um... I don't know what to say or I don't know what to show, but all in all, it's been a really good experience. So we'll see when we get there. Time will tell. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see that Thailand experience, the three months there. I'll think about it. I will definitely consider it. All right. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching me get back on this road for the last three months. Mwah. See you then. Sai Jen.